Hey guys, what is up? It's Jared here from Tectonic Tech. And today I'm going to be doing a review slash comparison on the Apple Magic Mouse versus the Microsoft Arc Touch Mouse SE. So let's, without any further ado, let's get straight into the comparison. <laughs> Pricing. The Apple Magic Mouse comes in at around $129 and while the Microsoft Arctouch Mouse SE comes in around $95. These are Australian prices, so in America or US or wherever you are, it might be cheaper market expense for it, but these are Australian prices. And while they both might sound quite expensive, they're definitely worth it. So let's start with going into the pros of the Apple Magic Mouse. The Apple Magic Mouse is very ergonomic, it feels great in your palm, it's very nice to use. Has great compatibility if you have a Mac and you're if you it's very easy to connect to Mac you just turn on and go to settings and connect it there. And if even if you're using boot camp on Windows, it connects perfectly exactly the same. I haven't tried it on an actual Windows computer, but I'm assuming it would still work pretty well. Another great thing is it has a simple connection, as I just said, you just turn on and connect. There's no dongles needed, none of that. It also has lots of great guest gestures like like you can swipe between pages, you can scroll, it's just like a trackpad really. You can like control a map, like you can like move the world around with this. Um, another pro is that it's got very fast charging. It's If you just want to charge for 9 hours, it'll only take 2 minutes. So if you like go to the bathroom and then you've got a, a full working day worth of mouse. Okay, now let's get on to the pros of the Microsoft Arc Touch Mouse SE. The great thing about the Arc Touch Mouse SE is that it's very portable as it snaps back into place and it's completely flat and it can easily fit into your pocket or into your computer bag and it's very portable and then I'll put on just snap it back into place. It's as easy as that. It also has a few get gestures using this um not real but simulated I guess you could call it track well it's it's there's I think that it's kind of like a tactile trackpad and, and if you'd like do like gestures like this you can get like a middle click or like something like that you can like go back and forth between pages another pro which is also the same with apple magic mouse is it has no dongle it's just connected via bluetooth and works pretty good on windows 10 and 8 you're not gonna have much luck on any other operating systems but it's very good another great pro is it has six months of battery life on one charge which is not really a charge it's two AAA batteries in here so these boys can last you six months so that's a pretty good battery life for a mouse. That's Bluetooth as well. Bluetooth uses more power than oh, I'm not really sure. Now no mouse can be perfect. Let's start with the cons of the Apple Magic Mouse. Some of the cons of the Apple Magic Mouse is it only has one month of battery life which is a bit bad meaning well not really bad but inconvenient as you have to charge it in the really weird way every month which is plugging a light input into the bottom of the mouse so you can't it'll be like this if you try and use it. Um I actually have the older version or I don't I'm borrowing this from someone and it has batteries in it. If you buy the newer version you need to get a lightning charger and it's just just inconvenient and I've got some photos on the screen now. This is not my one but this is just some ones around the internet. And there's also a funny one there with someone plucking the Apple pencil into them like just like what are Apple doing with these charging? And the last con is that it has a plastic surface which is very prone to scratching. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but uh, no, it's very it's, it can get scratched very easily, so you can't really get screen protectors for these, but just be careful. Now let's move into the cons for Microsoft Up Touch Mouse SE. Now the one down one of the downsides of this mouse is it has extremely terrible compatibility. If you try, if it, if a computer has the wrong Bluetooth, then it won't work. If it's on Windows 7, it won't work. If it's on Windows 8, sometimes it works. Usually only on like the best computers or like Microsoft computers. It's not very good compatibility. It barely works with Mac OS. If you turn it off and then back on, it won't reconnect. It's um, the compatibility is not very well. It is also quite tall compared to normal mouses, and it can get quite uncomfortable when you're trying to use it for a long session so it's not really that comfortable. Now as we're entering the end of the comparison I'm gonna tell you that I actually don't have a favourite one. I, there's lots of things I like about the Apple Mouse and there's lots of ones I like about the Microsoft one. They're both very good. I use Windows and Mac OS so 
if I'm using a Mac OS, I'll usually use this one. If I'm using Windows, I'll use this one. Although sometimes I do use this one, but I can't. I can't use this one on Mac OS. So yeah, they're both very good mouses. I would, if you're looking for a good quality mouse for your Mac or Surface Pro, whatever you're using, these are definitely one of the two of the best mouses you can buy. And with the Surface mouses, really good portability the apple mouse is also good portability and gestures they're both great buys so if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure to drop a like subscribe um comment your ideas and share this video with your friends and yeah thanks for watching see ya